Okay, this is a reproduction Japanese World War II Naval Landing Force helmet. It's a reproduction, of course. It's a nice one. I got it for $70. The cover was $34, including shipping. I'll go around it real quick. The cover really, it, it's a nice one, actually. It really is. And uh, you get some pictures of it. It has a nice anchor on the front. Let me flip it over here for you. I have a little head on here to keep the liner nice. Right here it says made in India. I bought it from uh, eBay. It's got the three pads. The pads all have cushions in them. Has the tie for the chin strap. And what I did is I, it was way too long. So I, I snipped it down a little because it's not like these are rare or anything. And it ties on here. It's really e easy to get the, uh, the cover on. You just tie it here. I don't want to take it all apart, but you take this off. It's just like the normal helmets you see on eBay. And on the front, I have on the metal helmet itself, I have one of those Naval Landing Force badges on the helmet. So I wanted to match it up with a nice cover. It came, it also came with a net and the net, I just can't figure out how to get that on easily. So I said to hell with it, you know, I didn't bother. But you know, if you're kind of a, if you're a collector who's kind of poor like me, I guess, not poor, but you know what I mean? You don't want to spend a lot of money. These things go for thousands, one like this, a real one. If you want to spend about a hundred bucks or so, I, I highly recommend this. It actually, it's comfortable, I guess. I tried it on one time. But, uh, yeah, it's comfortable and, you know, you definitely, if you, uh, what I would suggest is maybe uh, put it out in the sun, fade it a little, make it look a little bit used, maybe throw some dirt on there, mud, whatever, make it look more realistic. It'd be a cool helmet, you know, it still is. I just throw it on my shelf and kind of forget I even have it, actually. But uh, for the money, for about 120 it's definitely worth it. That's what I paid. But I wouldn't buy it in one set together because you're going to pay more. I would buy the helmet, then the cover separately. Because there's one um, company in China that sells the covers. I got it for 30 bucks plus, I think, five shipping. And that was the cheapest one I could find. So that's it. Okay, YouTubers, I'll see you later.